Hey everybody, I came down to my favorite, one of my favorite spots down by the river in St. Jacobs, close to where Julie and I live. And I love to come down here because I feel the presence of the Lord here. And, uh, you know, so here I am and I was just praying just now over the picnic table and I came into the car because I felt I wanted to share a real quick video with you concerning, concerning Jabez. Jabez, those of you who are familiar with Jabez, what I want to say to you is, uh, you know, God looks at your heart. He looks at the motives of your heart, the motive of why you do what you do, not how you do it or not where you do it or when you do it or, you know, the way in which you do it. No, God looks at why, why you do it. That is the most important factor in everything that you do in the kingdom of God. And that goes for me as well, making this little video here for you today. God, what is the motive of my heart in doing this? These are very important things because God will go a long way when your motives are pure, godly, righteous, holy, honoring to the Lord, the blessing to the people around you. God will go a long way with you. In other words, you can mess up terribly. You can fail. You can you can uh, forget. You can you can do all these things. You know all of these things, and yet God doesn't necessarily see. The failure or the mess up or the sin he looks at the motive of your heart he judges by the motive of your heart and that's why I wanted to just take a moment uh, to talk to you about Jabez because Jabez is one of those characters that is just fascinating it's only a very very short short account in first Chronicles chapter 4 you know first Chronicles you read all the names the lists of names and genealogies and you know descendants and ancestors and you know, families and all of these things, and then all of a sudden you come upon Jabez in First Chronicle chapter 4. I'm going to read you it. It's only a couple of short verses, a few short verses, and then I want to mention something about it. And it says this, listen, First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bore him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, enlarge my coast, and that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him, Jabez, that which he requested. Isn't that powerful? God granted Jabez the prayer that he requested. What was his prayer? God, I want you to increase my borders. I want you... I want you to enlarge my sphere. God, enlarge my coasts. God, give me a greater platform. Give me a higher position. Give me a give me a more influential, uh, you know, standing with people. That's that's what his prayer was. I pray that all the time. And the reason I do that is because my heart is right. My motives are pure. It's not to become popular. It's not to be, you know, lifted up in pride and put on a pedestal. God forbid. God forbid. I pray that prayer. I pray, God, give me a greater uh, uh, ministry. Give me a greater anointing. Give me a greater influence on the people around me. I pray that. Why? So that God's name will be glorified and honored because of the motive of my heart. So why did God answer Jabez's prayer? That's what I wanted to ask you here today before we close. Why did God answer that prayer? The Bible says God gave Jabez what? The request of his heart simple reason why it's not complicated it's very simple because the very first verse that I read to you Jabez was more honorable than his brothers it all had to do with the honor of the man God saw the honor of the man that's what God looks for for you and for me in all that we do in our life as Christians as followers of God as servants of the Lord in this world in which we're living it doesn't matter whether it's you know giving somebody a meal, buying them a cup of coffee, or or even you know giving uh, blood you know to help other people you know who need blood. All of these things you know, or, or or helping somebody financially you know with with a large donation. It doesn't matter whether it's large or small. God examines the motive of your heart, and when He sees the motive of your heart that is pure and 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 and, and righteous then God sees you as a man or a woman of honor. Jabez was more honorable than his own brothers. That's the reason why God granted him his request. It was not a selfish, personal uh, prayer for gain. 
for personal gain wasn't that at all. He said, God, increase my borders because I don't want to cause evil. I don't want to be, uh, you know, a burden to anybody. I don't want to cause somebody else to stumble and fall because of, you know, pride in my life or sin in my life. And, and he was more honorable. So that's the message I want to give to you here today. Walk in honor before the Lord. Walk in honor before people around you, whether it's your family members, whether it's your friends at work, whether it's your neighbors, whether it's the people in the church where you fellowship, walk in honor before the Lord and God will bless you and God will answer your prayer. God will give you the desire of your heart because he sees the motives of your heart. And when your motives are pure, then you can believe and expect God to answer your request as he did with Jabez. God, listen, expand my borders. That says it all right there. I pray that all the time. God, expand my borders, not for my own glory, but for yours, so that I can be a blessing to the people around me while I'm here in this world. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and I hope that that ministers to you this morning. God bless. Bye-bye for now.